Hi, this is Lorgy B. And in today's Power BI video, we're going to look at building a Power BI app that serves two different audiences. So here we are in a workspace. We have two reports. We have the sales report, and anyone can see that one. And we have the management figures. That's only for the management. So let's get on and build an app. In the top right hand corner, there's a button that says create app. So I click there and it asks us for an app name. It copies the workspace name and that's fine. So in the description, I am going to put a short description that explains the app. For now, I'm just literally going to put in short description. Then we can add a logo to it. So I'm going to upload a logo. It's white, so you can't see it at the minute, but it'll show in a sec. Then there's the app theme color. You're limited to this range of colors. I'm going to pick dark blue. And then we can we've got some options about the contact information. And we've also got some other options. We're going to leave them all as default for this time. The next, there's a next button in the corner, or we can click on content for the next part. We're going to click on the add content button and I'm going to tick both reports. We could also add links to external items. Then I'm going to click add. And there we are, both my reports are in there. If you want to see a preview, you can click on them. The third section is audience. So let's deal with our two audiences. Our first audience is the simplest one, is our managers. So I'm just going to rename where it says company reports there. And I'm going to call it management. And then if I look on the right hand side, grant access to. So I'm going to go for specific users or groups. And I'm going to put in management. I've got a security group called management. Or you could add individuals into there. Then I'm going to add a new audience. So back up the top and click on the new audience. And let's rename that to be all company. And that, or across here, I'm going to pick entire organization on the right hand side. So that where who we're granting access to. And if I would turn back to the left, they can see the sales report, that's fine, but I don't want them to see the management figures. So I'm going to click on the little I logo that's there and cross it out. And it becomes grayed out and it gives you a message in the, in the middle here saying you've chosen to hide this artifact. So we've done the setup, we've done the content and we've set up our two audiences. Then I'm going to click publish app and we can click publish and there we are we get a link to our app there i'm going to copy that link just in case it hasn't come through for my users so let's go and visit one user and let's see what they get to see so we're looking at joni and she is in the management group so if we just go and have a look on apps let's just see if it's appeared there yet it might not have No, nope, it hasn't appeared there yet, but I've got the URL. So let's paste that into her window. And there we are. We get our app and she can see the management figures and she can also see the sales report. But let's switch across to have a look and see what Alex can see. So let's paste in that URL again. And you'll see that Alex is in the app, but Alex can't see the management report. They just get to see the sales report with the volume and product turnover page. So we built an app, we chose the content, and we chose which audiences could see what. I'm Laura GB, and if you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.